Assalamu alaikum, good evening, and welcome to tonight's episode of Talking Point. I'm your host, Sayyid Niaz Ahmed. In our studios today, we have a gentleman, Professor Sajjad Rahman. He's a retired professor of surgery and pediatric surgery. He established pediatric surgery in Bangladesh, to, to tell you the truth. And uh, he's also a former consultant general at Naniton Hospital in the UK. Professor Rahman is a senior consultant fellow, sponsored by the British Council, an active Rotarian and a Paul Harris fellow. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you, sir. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. I know it has been a very hectic day for most of us living in London because there's been some power outage in the city and uh, some yes. of the trains are not working properly, some of the traffic lights are not working. But Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, we have made it yes. in time. Today is also a very special day because uh, there are millions of uh, Muslims uh, who have assembled in uh, Mina and they will be yes. proceeding to uh, Muzdalifa and Arafah and then they will be coming back to Mina and this is all a part of Hajj. Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik Labbaik Allah Sharika Laka Labbaik Inna Alhamda wa Nemata Laka wa Mulk Allah Sharika Laka This is a supreme sacrifice that a Muslim can do. Anyway, coming back to London uh, and our guest today, Professor Sajjad. There are a lot of things that I want to discuss with you, but uh, you have uh, recently come from Dhaka. Yes. And since you are health personnel, uh, the epidemic, the, the very contagious disease being spread by mosquito Aedes. Some people call it dengue, other people call it dengue, but whatever you call it, it is as dangerous by any name. Yes. I think dengue fever has been there for a long time, mm -hmm. but it has not shown as an epidemic mm -hmm. until 2000, year 2000. Mm -hmm. It was talking about the whole world. Yes, and uh, until 2000, there were only nine countries in the nine to eleven countries in the world, especially in the in South uh, Asia. In South Asia and some in North and South American region. Mm -hmm. And now it's about 100 countries involved. Mm -hmm. And you know, recently, Philippines mm -hmm. have declared an epidemic. Yes, some 600 persons have died there. 600 people have died. Unfortunately, dengue is a viral illness. Mm -hmm. It is transmitted by, as you said, Aedes aegypti, we call it. Yes. And, uh, there are three it, kinds of uh, the, these mosquitoes, isn't it? Uh, Aedes, are, and then there the, you know, the are. There are uh, for malarial yeah. ones. But this is the one which actually uh, spreads, dengue, yeah. spreads dengue. Actually, the, once the uh, mosquito bites, female mosquito bites, yeah the virus incubates for about 3 to 14 days mm -hmm. in the blood and then once it once it uh, bites or it has a feast of blood yeah. from a person it injects the injects the virus into the victim's blood mm -hmm. and this actually lasts for up to about 14 days mm -hmm. then the dengue fever is manifested. Most of the time, dengue is not very uh, problematic. Mm -hmm. It, mm -hmm. is, it, it can, can be handled. Be, it can be handled by the system of our body, but uh, at times it can be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Actually, there are four types of virus. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. And dengue one was the common virus, mm -hmm. the uh, usual virus. It gives only uh, feverish illness, uh, followed by uh, immunity to this. But the problem is, dengue is all these four viruses. They do not cross immunity. Do not get mm -hmm. cross immunity. Mm -hmm. 
as a result uh, long time cross immunity, but short time cross immunity is given. But once the immunity is gone mm -hmm. for that, that uh, particular uh, cross virus, then if it comes back again, then it can be quite serious. Mm -hmm. And the recognition of the viral antibody and antigen by the cells of the body, it is they, they uh, become tricked and whole system goes into a sort of disarray. The f body fluid starts coming out of the blood, blood vessels, mm -hmm. giving rise to loss of fluid mm -hmm. and at times hemorrhagic manifestation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is what uh, causes the seriousness. This, this is a very serious scenario. Uh, but where is it coming from? They say that it's, uh, it is developing in only in urban areas actually, from stagnant water. It is. It is. Actually, this is uh, because of the unplanned way of development, urban development, mm -hmm. where there has been a lot of ghetto areas mm -hmm. where drainage systems, especially I'm talking about Dhaka, mm -hmm. uh, the drainage system, water drainage system, has been disturbed by the unplanned development of structures mm -hmm. uh, which causes uh, stagnation of water into different uh, parts of the area. And there the Aedes mosquito, actually this happens in mostly in clear water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it is said that it is an aristocratic disease. <laughs> it comes from the S events. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but this is not fully true. Mm -hmm. It can come from anywhere, the flower pots and yeah, others. Yeah, yeah. And this is the problem. But, but, uh, but in now in present uh, Dhaka, uh, there are very few uh, open areas, very few floral life that you can call. Uh, and, 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 uh, but people are growing trees and flowers and on the roof rooftops. Rooftops, yes. And they are Close, closer to the <laughs> where <Yes>. they live. <laughs> <laughs> this is you can't help it. This is part of the social development. Yes. And uh, is, is you that have uh, disturbing the, the this whole, could the, this the, could the ecosystem. I don't know. It is disturbing or not. But the ecosystem has got different scenarios. And uh, in terms of the uh, clearer, cleaner air, mm -hmm. the green plants are much liked by people and encouraged. But then again, if you have to water them, yeah. and if there is uh, stagnation of water in that situation, then Aedes mosquito. People, can. Have, people have huge gardens on the, their rooftop, see? Yeah. And uh, <coughs> it takes uh, a lot of water to maintain them, keep them alive. Uh, apart from that, you have to use uh, different fertilizers, uh, yes. see, insecticides. A lot of things go with uh, with growing yes. plants, like we do. We all have our yes. back garden, and we we do a lot of things. You know. And w w what will happen? The effect of all these insecticides, water, pesticides, uh, uh, urea, fertilizer, and all that, on my rooftop, you see, where my children would go quite often. Well, this is interesting. You mean your, from your roof, rooftop? All the water drains down into the, uh, your the water drainage system. Yeah, yeah. And this pollutes the toxic uh, material from fertilizers, right. uh, especially those uh, uh, anti mosquito mm -hmm. uh, chemicals that are used. They are mostly against the male mosquito, the fertilized. Fertility of the male mosquito is reduced. The estrogen is being used mostly. As a result, it inhibits uh, the production of male sperm. Mm -hmm. Especially, it also affects the human and the and the uh, the animals around them, mm -hmm. fish, birds. birds, everything. That's why there is a. There is a problem about the male fertil fertility. How is it that I read somewhere that uh, the male mosquitoes only live for 10 days, while the female 
They can slow. live up to 42 to 57 days. Yes. There's, if, you, if you look into the human cycle, yes. the females are stronger mm -hmm. than male. And male sperm especially, it is very, very vulnerable to changes in these situations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they die very quickly. They're much smarter. They move faster. But they die quickly. And, 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 it, and the virus, the, the dengue virus, is carried by the female uh, mosquitoes. Female mosquitoes. They're usually carried by the female mosquitoes. Well, is there a particular reason for that? That Genetic is, reason that for is that? I think, uh, this is the uh, natural, natural selection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Natural selection of female because they probably, if you can look into the bees, yeah. Yeah, they're not, they're not creating, is it? I mean, they're, they're, no, 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 they're no, just no. They don't passing create. it on. They, what they do, once they, once they uh, suck the blood from yeah. an infected person, yeah. the virus that grows inside, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that incubates and goes, uh, multiplies. As a result, uh, they're from virus, several virus, you can get many. Right. Many. In like you said, the bees, like pollinating. Yes. From one flower to another. another yes. So they are they are moving from one one human being to another. To another. But uh, the thing is, it 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 um, multiplies in the human system much more mm -hmm, mm -hmm. than the than the uh, okay. female mosquito. Is, is it contagious? This dengue fever. It is not exactly contagious, but if an infected mosquito bites, mm -hmm. then only by the bite of the mosquito you can you can get it. Otherwise, not. So, so if, if, if I'm infected and a, I, I'm bitten by a male mosquito, the male, male mosquito, mosquito doesn't. They won't carry it? They won't carry it. Yes. It is the female it needs to. Uh, are, are these pesticides, uh, these uh, mosquito killers? Insecticides. Insecticides. Are, are they... <coughs> Really directed towards the female mosquitoes? Actually, or actually, they total? are directed against the total mm -hmm. annihilation of the larvae. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the problem is the, as you know, there is in a warfare. It's a war between the mosquito and virus and the human. Right. So in a war, there is always one side is uh, developing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. systems which cannot be detected by the other other side right, right, so this is there is always a game between same thing happens with antibiotic mm -hmm. and bacteria mm -hmm, mm -hmm. antibiotic becomes non non active yeah if you tame it too much yes not mm -hmm. only that it there is a tendency in the bacterial and viral system that uh, it can find out ways and means of circumventing that their uh, enemies. It's just, just natural process. This is natural. This is natural. As human do, as we, <laughs> as human do, we try to. If this road is blocked, we will take another take route. Another route. <coughs> this is human. Uh, this is the uh, nature as a whole. <coughs> That's very interesting. Uh, are there any other uh, ways of uh, c contacting dengue? No. Not really. Uh, there is no other, but. Uh, one thing we are uh, we are about to probably uh, uh, good we're getting good news that dengue uh, pen this is multivalent mm -hmm. vaccines right. are being tried at the moment and it is in the trial phase once it comes out hopefully we may be able to have okay. uh, uh, immunity we'll, we'll, again we'll all talk four. about that later we need to take a break. When we come back, we'll, we'll discuss that. Uh, thank you for being with us. Uh, don't go away. We'll be back soon.